With the actual explosion of the VIS token, many people have been asking me, how high is this token gonna go? And today we're going into an in-depth analysis on this token. So without further ado, let's go ahead and hop into it. So as it comes to the growth of this game, this new article that was just released on January 26th, just stated that there was over 25,000 user wallets added in the past week, which is another 26% increase. And not only that, the Born Pega axes continue to increase as well as the sales volume and the mint to burn rate, which the most important metric here is actually the burn rate, which as you can been seeing, has been like steadily around 22, 23 million and now has bumped up because of the recent payouts here that everybody was expecting. It's still at a higher average right now than where it was a few days or weeks earlier, which is a great sign. Now we move down to this portion of this uh, website, which will be linked down in the description. We can see that the total VIS minted during this entire lifetime period, 945 million, as well as the burn rate at 852 million. Now with this huge surge of players as well as the you know promotion of this high burn rate compared to other games like Axie Infinity and Thetan Arena, this has caused the price to drastically increase from you know about three cents now up to 25 cents with a high of I believe at 26 cents. So this leads us into our calculations here on the market cap. So the market cap calculations goes by the price of the token, which right now we're just using an average of 25 cents to make it a nice number. With the total circulation supply, this is the mints minus the burn rate, which gives us a market cap of $23 million which this is a very low market cap compared to other games right now. If we just go ahead and take a look at the Axie Infinity market cap as of this moment, the recording on February 3rd, the total supply and the price, the market cap is 31 million, which is just only 1.36 times as big as Peg Axie. So now here's the price chart of SLP. Everybody knows and loves this chart as it just continuously dies over time, but we're going to be taking our sample at 1026 here when SLP was about six cents. Again, this is when profits were pretty nice for everybody. So if we go to the market cap on 1026. We can go ahead and find that it was at 131 million. Now this is a pretty generous uh, ticker here because the market cap actually takes a big nosedive right there, but this is where we're going to use our calculations. So we go back to the Excel sheet here. We do not know the total supply because I don't have that number available to me right now. I wasn't recording it at the time, but we know the price was around six cents and the market cap at 146 million. That's the number we just got from the um, website there. So that means that the market cap compared to the peg axie was 6.31 times as many. Now, why is this important info? Well, that is due to the Axie size user base compared to the Peg Axie user base. So currently there are just 132,000 Peg Axies. Now in the Axie universe at the time, there was approaching around nine to 10 million. So again, the game sizes are drastically different. Now that doesn't mean jack squat really, because the growth rate for peg axes continuously going up and up and up, which you can see by the growth here of the total peg axes. Again, it's kind of going almost into an exponential format here. If we zoom in a little bit, uh, we go in the last month here, I guess is a better picture of it. You can see that this price is the amount of axes coming in is going up and up and up, which means more and more people are breeding, keeping that burn rate nice and high for everybody. Now here's where we get into the juicy portion of this analysis here. So right now, floor peg axes are trading for about $1,850. This one's a glitched out peg axis uh, at 1,700, but the floor peg axis, 1,850. So that's the number that we're gonna be using. The total breeding cost right now for peg axes comes in from this article. It is um, 2,000 VS, VIS, and then you know it keeps adding the difference of the two, so it's gonna double, and then it's gonna add two plus four, six, six plus four, 10, blah, 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 all the way down, plus the PGX cost, which is 30 times about 80 cents right now. Um, so again, we have the PGX at 86 cents, the VIS is at 25 cents. So bringing it over here, the breeding cost for a Virgin Axe, a Virgin Peg Axe, two of them, you know, it's gonna cost you $525, which if you're selling a floor peg axi right now, is gonna give you $1,324. Same thing here, one, two, and three, it is profitable up until the third peg axi. So this would mean it would make no sense to breed out a fourth, fifth, sixth, or seventh peg axi, as you're not gonna be able to make money if you were selling at the floor price. 
Now, as smart people, we're economic people. We know, you know, as ACDC Econ would say, you know, there's opportunity costs. What if you were just to sell VIS token? Well, if you were to do this with a floor peg axie, it would not be worth it to sell a virgin peg axie. You're making way too much money. You're making $824 more than if you were to just sell VIS and the, um, you know, VGX token, which we're not even going to calculate because that 30 times 86 isn't really worth it. Now, what's interesting is when it was profitable to sell the second and third, now it is not. It is more worth to just sell your VIS rather than to breed and sell it on the market if you were selling at the floor. Now, come on, Chachi. We're not using all floor axes. We're not selling floor axes. We're selling great axes. That's what we do. Well, guess what? I got you covered as well. We're going to move on to the virgin price floor. So currently, um, there's another glitched one or so at 2351. The normal axi peg axes that are selling at the floor for virgins is around $2,700 or so. So now if we go back to this chart here. Same thing, the breeding cross as well as the total profit, which if you're making, you know, $2,164, that's some nice profit. I'm not even going to lie. That is pretty insane. Again, it is profitable all the way up until breed number four. I'm not sure why I didn't have that updated, but there it is. It is profitable all the way up to breed four floor axes. So you can breed out your peg axis four times in UBI. But the opportunity cost, again, not much really changes. There's only one difference here. The second breed is now more worthwhile than the second on a floor peg axis. So you'll be making $600 more if you were to sell a virgin as if you were to sell a um, floor axis just in general. So that still leads us to the third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. All are going to be not as profitable as if you were just to sell the VIS, which leads us to a problem. Either... The market is going to limit itself to two uh, breeds and then they're going to start selling their VIS and only sell those virgins and so so on and so forth. Or maybe a one breed peg axi, you know, renting it out, whatever it is. You know, there's lots of different solutions. I know that. I know that. But we're just going over these two as this is the most important. So that price continues to increase here. But how high is it really going to go? So that question can't be answered precisely, but we can give a good estimate on it. So as long as the opportunity cost for these peg axes being bred is more than just selling the VIS, there's not going to be as much VIS on the market. More people are continuously buying VIS. If you look at the buying versus the selling pressure on VIS, a lot more people are actually buying it because they're not able to make enough from the game currently to keep up with this insane profitability. Because if they're not even thinking about the VIS and selling, they're just like, hey, it's profitable until three, even four. We're just going to go to three so we can get that huge profit. Bang, that's all they're doing. That's all they're thinking about. But maybe they'll watch this video. Who knows? Maybe now they know. They're like, oh my goodness. Well, I've been doing it all wrong. So the price, all it needs to do to double is to double the market cap. Which again, if we were just to increase this and times it by two, here we go. Times it by two, bang, 46 million market cap. Now if we go down here, it'd be bigger than Axie Infinity's market cap right now, which with the hype surrounding it, completely reasonable. It would be though about three times smaller than Axie Infinity a few months ago, which is starting to get into the point here that, uh-oh, I don't really know if it's going to hit this point to change this to a 50 cent BIS token. Completely possible, probable, probably not as much. The prices for peg axes are only going to go so high before people stop buying into the game because right now the barrier to entry is just insane. If you're trying to get in the game, you know, spending $2,500, $600, $700 just isn't the best. And these are for the floor ones. They're probably not even the best one. I don't really know a ton about the peg axes, which ones are good, which ones are bad. But again, just using a baseline here. So will we see a price increase on VIS? The answer is yes. Again, the hype right now around the game is just insane, but we really don't know how high this is going to go before people start to realize, hey, I could just sell my VIS for more of a profit. It's less of a hassle. You know, you just claim and sell. 
So with that being said, I'm putting around the range of about 35 to 40 cents per BIS right now. Now, if you've watched my most recent video again on the huge Pegaxi warning, again, you know the thumbnail here, 15 cents down to one cent, that I still hold on to. Again, in a few months, this is just not sustainable. So you can change this 15 cents all the way up to 45 or whatever I just put it at, 40, 40, 45 cents, whatever it's going to be. I fully expect that it's probably going to hit this mark. Yes, there will be dips into the market. That is just how things go. So there could be dips into the market. Again, we saw it um, on January 20th, you know, it spiked and then dropped off. But again, the hype is just going to keep on building, building right now because the profitability is just too insane. So that being said, hopefully this was a good enough analysis for you all. I appreciate you all watching the end of the video. I'll see you all in the next one. Have a great day. Peace.